Well, welcome to the Beyond Cinema Studio up here at Sundance, Claudia, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Um, congratulations on being back here, like Thank almost so 10, years, 10 years, almost. Does it feel like time has flown by or has it gone slowly? It feels really nice, actually. It was the first festival of my life, like Sundance, so it's really special for me. And uh, I show my first film, Peruvian, Malinusa, in the World Commission. It was freezing, now it's like the perfect weather. Uh, I don't know, it's super exciting and it's fun. It's yeah. Fun to come back. A lot's always made of a filmmaker traveling outside of their native languages um, to work in English and whether that's a complex process or not. For you, was it an easy process or? Well, it's, it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's not uh, wrong. I think mm. it was nice. If they, I think it was like, you know, they helped me a lot, you know, I didn't felt like, mm, lost and never, like I felt like it was easy to work with them but it's always complicated it's not your mother tongue so it's like you're not so eloquent you're not so you know precise as you would love to be right but uh the places that you set your films are always so yeah large like they have an effect they have an impact yeah I'm I don't know I have this fascination for like this kind of marginal landscapes like far away from cities far away from institutions in a way you know how people relate and how they determine they change the characters lives in a way in the sense like you feel like you've got a freedom to explore different things because you're not labeling a place too yeah it's like it's it's in this case we were like actually like there's it's kind of a main character that the weather in a way but it's always like the camera is so physically close to the to them to the actors that you you never show it like it's always like surrounding them but you can feel it in like the different expression. You can feel the, the presence of eyes, of air, of earth, in a way, like the variety of the emotions of the film. But uh, for me, it's kind of this confrontation between human and nature, in a way, you know, how you feel vulnerable and how you re reconnect, in a way, to that fragility that somehow, uh, that, that confrontation. Yeah, almost in a literal way, this film approaches art as nature and what and nature is art. Um, and adapting that and seeing, you know, for your character, that exploration of what feels, you know, what makes you feel. Um, for you, being able to travel all over the world and do films in different places, what did this particular landscape kind of give you for this film? Um, it has its own kind of beauty, a very stark beauty, you know, the, the vast open expanses of snow and ice and um, something kind of lonely about, you know, and austere about a lot of these locations that Claudia found. And the forests were really very beautiful. My character spends a good deal of time in the forest building, you know, exploring these um, structures that she starts sort of the beginning of this process for her of creating these, these kind of installations in nature. Yeah. Um, and those forests were, were very beautiful. Do you prefer to be whisked away to kind of be able to concentrate on the craft mm -hmm. away from kind of the daily routine of home or is doing a film in and around your home where you can sleep in your own bed still a preference? Uh, well, for me, it's like, for me, home is my family and they come with me whenever I work, you know. I, 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 um, on this one, especially my youngest one, Agnes, was with us the whole time. She was still quite young. Um, but I, I kind of like it all. I mean, I like di different kinds of experiences, but there's always some, it's always some kind of strange and magical chapter, I feel like, no matter where the location is, you know? Um, even some place like this, like I never thought I would spend that much time in Winnipeg, you know? Mm. Um, and it was kind of, yeah, it's, it's, I do really love it. There is something special about that time, I think, being on location. In terms of you guys working together, when was the first time you meet, did you, managed to get together in person somewhere or was it a Skype thing like no we managed we managed to get together we went uh, I went to New York uh, to meet her actually and uh, I remember the first time we went like to a coffee yeah and, and we stayed for hours <laughs> talking <laughs> I, came, like the, I came out I was like I love her so much I really want to work I <laughs> couldn't believe it it was so <laughs> easy so she's like such a smart actor and she, the way she understands the character and not only the character but the film itself and the complexity of it and it just felt like oh my god you know this is so 
So I knew, I knew if she wanted to work with me, I, I imagine my luck. <laughs> could you could you relate Claudia to her work in terms of like Milk of Sorrow? Obviously, sorrow is in the title, right? <laughs> Here we've got tragedy being such a kind of pervasive theme as well, but yet in person she seems so light. Um, so did the conversations were they light conversations about heavy subjects or did they get heavy quickly well everyone's complicated right i mean so and i think that's what's beautiful about claudia's work is the characters are all rich and complicated and morally ambiguous and so i mean yeah I, i'll say working with claudia she's incredibly um fluid you know and has a really great spirit on set and able to navigate the kind of changes and uh, you know unanticipated occurrences really well um and she has beautiful glowing energy to her but you know we're all we all have our stories and complexities and so um so it's not surprising to me that she should write stories that you know explore lots of different things so a final question if you had this power to heal and change and <laughs> solve uh, one of the world's problems or ailments, what would it be? Wow, well, I, well, sustainability, you know, right now, I mean, I, I feel like um, being able to, to, to continue to live on this, on this planet, you know, I mean, the ultimate root of the problem, uh, I don't know, is it, is it greed, is it selfishness, you know, not being able to hold other people's perspectives and points of view. I, you know, I don't know how we got to this point, but certainly the well-being of the planet. Good for you, Claudia. I kind of agree in a way, you know, it's, uh, I, was, I was going to say like corruption, like how, like the, if we could just be able to not like uh, succumb to corruption in any way, right? Uh, but uh, at the end it's, Kind of the same, right? It's kind of the same answer. Very right, cool. Well, thanks for coming in and spending a few minutes with us. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you soon, hopefully. Okay. Thank you. Good to see you. Thank you. Okay.